Well, kids are starting to come home with loads of homework, and you know what that means, heavy backpacks. That's right, but what you may not realize is the damage that that weight can cause. One doctor I spoke to said 15,000 patients seek medical attention for a backpack injury every single year. In order to compensate for too heavy a load, the child has to lean forward at the hips, flexing or extending their uh, torso forward and extending their neck forward. What this does, it puts an unnatural amount of stress and strain on the spine, as well as the ligaments, muscles, and tendons. Dr. James Ross says that causes inflammation or pain in the neck, shoulders, lower back, hips, and knees. Not to mention, you know, like heavy uh, loads from the backpack. The straps can compress some of the veins in the shoulders. So if they have a really, really heavy backpack that they wear all the time, with the sitting like this all day, they could get tingling down their arms. They could get you know nerve pain in their neck. Licensed massage therapist Vivian Arrington at R3 Stretch agrees that a heavy backpack can take its toll on a child's body. Researchers suggest that a child's backpack should weigh no more than 10% of what the student weighs. So a 70 pound 10 year old should only be carrying up to seven pounds. Our sister station in West Palm Beach did an experiment with a scale. Oh, it's 11 pounds. After a while, you get pretty used to it. Great, let's test it. 16 pounds. I got two more textbooks today. It's probably not good for most of the kids. 15.9. To be fair, I'm taking a lot of college classes. It's crazy and I'm already starting to feel it a little bit in my back, which worries me. So you want to make sure that the heaviest stuff is toward the back closest to your spine. So that way you have a better center of gravity and you're not leaning back or hunching forward. You want to put the lighter stuff toward the front. It's also important that your straps are tight so you have a higher center of gravity and you're not hunching over or leaning back too far. And you also want to wear it on both shoulders, not leaning over to one side, even though it looks cooler. You're going to kind of lean over. So a lot of these muscles are going to get stretched out. A lot of these are going to be shortened and these are constantly going to be under stress. So you're going to have um, off balance. And it's not just the weight of the backpack on your back. Slinging all of that weight I is bet. also sometimes harmful. So maybe carry some books in your arms and of course don't load up your backpack with a bunch of stuff that you don't really need. And actually last year, the government in India banned homework wow. for certain age groups just because of heavy backpacks uh, to help avoid you know, causing some spinal damage there. So I, I think it was uh, between ages four to seven, maybe they completely banned homework. I mean, it's detrimental. Yeah, well, and especially those really formative years where your bones are still growing and you know, our kids' muscles are still developing, definitely don't wanna have something like a backpack hindering you know, them for the rest of their lives. Really insightful. Yeah. Thanks, Travis.